Hi guys, and welcome to this week's episode of Lessons with Miss Essen. Today we're going to be talking about how to eat healthy on a college budget. So first thing is first, this takes a little bit of organization, so block off a chunk in your calendar uh, because I am going to teach you how to grocery shop and meal prep while keeping in the constraints of that college budget. So personally, I like to reserve Sundays for grocery shopping and meal prepping. Um, this takes me about three hours, so about an hour for grocery shopping, and then two hours to prep my meals for the week. Now you can decide to do the same thing or maybe something else works better for you, but through the rest of the video I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to keep this to the most limited time possible so that you can stick to your budget and save time for the things that you enjoy doing. So. The hardest part about meal prepping for most people is finding recipes that they like. This is where social media is your friend. So get on Facebook or Pinterest, um, search in healthy, easy, budget-friendly meals, and you'll get thousands of options. Um, the hardest part is finding those recipes that you like, so do some research, um, but picking out the ones that you know you're gonna eat and things that have similar ingredients are gonna help you stick to the budget. The good news is, if you're not ready to do that research yourself yet, I've got a couple easy options at the end of the video that you can start off with. So once you've chosen the recipes that you are going to use for your meal prep for the week, um, take all of those recipes and start a grocery list. So go through every one of your recipes and jot down the ingredients you're gonna to need to make those. Make sure you're double checking your list so that you don't have two of the same thing. And like I said, if you can choose recipes that have similar ingredients, that's gonna help your budget even more because you can buy in bulk. So throughout these videos, I'm gonna give you some pro tips um, to help you stick to the budget. And pro tip number one is stick to your list. The reason we make a grocery list is so we can stick to it. So the rule is, if it's not on the list, it doesn't go in the cart. Pro tip number one, stick to the list. When shopping for groceries, check for deals first. There's tons of flyers out there, but your phone is actually gonna provide you with one of the best apps called Flip. Flip is an app that allows you to check all of your local flyers to see what deals are on when they start and when they finish. So download Flip on your phone and make sure you're checking your Flip app before you go out and buy any groceries. Another thing that you can watch is some of your local grocers will actually have student nights. So these are certain nights of the week where if you show your student ID when you're buying groceries, you can get anywhere from 10 to 15% off your grocery order. So that's an awesome way to save money um, and put it back towards other things that are important. Pro tip number two, do an inventory of your cupboard before you go shopping. A lot of the times we forget what we even have on hand. So before you actually even head to the grocery store, check that grocery list and go through your cupboard and your fridge yourself. You might have forgotten that you bought that certain spice or that you have chicken left over in the freezer and there's no need to buy double if it's something you already have at home. Once your grocery shop's done, it's time to meal prep. Now this is the thing that most people hate, um, but it is imperative to helping you stick to your budget. So take that day of the week that you've chosen um, and start planning out your meals. A kind of easy tip to follow is if you cook in bulk and freeze food, you'll have stuff ready for the week and that's more likely to um, make you eat what's actually in your fridge if it's already prepared and ready to go, rather than eating out and spending probably double what you would spend if you actually buy your groceries and prep them yourself. So make sure you set aside that time to prepare for the week. And think about what you wanna eat too. Are you gonna need three lunches that week because you're at school? Um, do you have a dinner planned with your friends on Friday so maybe you don't need to cook for that day? Check out your schedule and plan how many meals you're going to need to make for yourself. Pro tip number three, snacks cost a lot of money. If you have your snacks prepared, you're so much more or less likely to spend a huge amount of money on snacking. So check your snacks and make sure you include them in your prep. Next thing to remember is to check your food chart. So normally when we're craving junk food or something that's bad for us, it's because our body is actually lacking an important nutrient. So that's when it's time to reach for your food chart. Remember that healthy food helps fuel your body and your learning. So when you're craving something that's probably bad for you, just reach for this cravings chart. The following cravings mean that your body is probably searching for certain types of nutrients. And it's probably something that you already have in your cover. So this is gonna help curb your craving and keep you healthy on a budget at the same time. Also, remember to think about the little things and how they add up. 
Think about that $5 coffee that we buy at Starbucks every day. Buying a coffee at Starbucks every day can amount to over $150 a month. Think about the alternative. I'm gonna to go to Costco or my local superstore, I'm gonna buy a large container of coffee, maybe a couple filters, and then head down to Value Village and buy a used $5 coffee maker. This is gonna give me coffee for about 12 cents a day for three months versus the $150 that you're gonna spend at Starbucks for just a month of coffee. Okay, so what are some staples you're asking yourself that I can keep in my cupboard and my fridge that are gonna keep me healthy and on a budget? The following list are some healthy options that are gonna make you not break the bank. Staple list includes chicken, beef, onions, spinach, dry pasta, eggs, cheese, veggies, peanut butter, rice, bananas, celery, oatmeal, and almond milk. These are some awesome staples that you can keep in your house that are gonna keep you healthy and they also allow you opportunity to make lots of different meals with them. So I'm actually gonna break down um, a small meal plan I did for just a day of meals that you can use those staples to make and I'm also gonna show on the screen here how much it's gonna cost you to have that meal plan in your life. So first up, we're gonna start with breakfast. Um, breakfast, we can have some oatmeal with maybe half a banana, some cinnamon and some almond milk. And if you're not a big fan of oatmeal, you can actually mix all that up in a blender and cook it in the pan as a delicious pancake. Um, and that meal alone is actually only gonna cost you 80 cents. For lunch, why not try a chicken spinach salad with some grilled chicken and some boiled eggs on the side? That's gonna cost you about $3.30 per meal. A uh, snack, an awesome snack is uh, peanut butter on celery, and that's cheap, affordable, and it's gonna give you lots of nutrients, plus the fat in that peanut butter is gonna help keep you full until dinner. And for dinner, we've got some chicken, spinach, tomato pasta. So grab that dry pasta from your cupboard, cook it up, add some leftover chicken from your lunch, top it with some spinach and tomato sauce, and that meal is only gonna cost you $4.20. So if we add all that up, it's only $9 for the entire day of healthy, nutritious eating. If you went to McDonald's and bought a Big Mac meal, it would be over $14 just for one meal that's not gonna keep you feeling satisfied and is not going to help you with your health or sticking to your budget. So those are my tips for the day. Um, remember that eating healthy doesn't have to break the bank. And I hope that you took at least one tip away from today that is gonna help you feel uh, that you're more confident in your meal prepping skills while you're here at Olton College. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, uh, you can always comment below. Um, if there's more tips or topics that you would love us to record, please let us know. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can tune in for more episodes of Lessons with Miss Essen. Thanks so much, guys, um, and we'll see you next time.